welcome to Living Strong. Happy Forces of July. Uh, the camp, the Lord is saying, stagnation. Things that are stagnant. A stagnant thing is something that sits still. Stagnant water. It's not even good to drink. Stagnation, a halt, a stop. The Lord saying stagnation of the lives of the people is, is being broken right now, even during this 4th of July holiday. And for the leadership, he's saying, they, they don't, for, for, for the Living Strong viewers also, the things that were held up, the things that were stopped, the things that were blocked, hallelujah, the walls of Jericho are coming down. And they are about to be released because there's a breach in the contract. There's a breach in the structure. And Captain, the Lord is saying stagnation is so that he can give you wings to take off. And I'm going to break that stagnation from the housing to, to, to just the personal life, to the agenda of going forth, to monetary funds, to those things that was ignorant and foolish in life. The Lord is saying, I'm releasing and I'm catapulting into a new era. The enemy has tried to break the leadership block back with the blessing that is to be stopped. But the Lord is saying, it is already procured. Hallelujah. And the witch's brew have turned the darkness as a dark oil or a dark sut or a dark coal. And it has congealed itself in the form of a dark lava and the Lord is saying it shall be crushed again with the darkness that it have created. So for the living strong viewers, the Lord is saying stagnation is being broken off your life even this moment, your family stuff that's been held up, and I hear the Lord saying, Bell pairs him, the repair of the breach, or, or rather, the, the, the one who was able to breach through, the Lord said he's here, and that anointing is releasing, so that those things that was blocking you are now open, and I hear the Lord say, the new release, oh my God, there it is, there it is, the new release, is coming in this summer. The new release, two months, 60 days and less. The new release for you and for y'all is coming in right now. It's beginning to take place. And the Lord is saying, hunger no more, thirst no more. I don't mean for food and water. I, for, I mean for the emptiness and the void that was in your life. This is a joy of purpose. This is an agenda. And the Lord is saying, build and construct while the time is good for the better days are upon thee. But yet, oh my God, but yet storms are coming, but you shall be prepared, said the Lord. This is a new beginning, a new way, a new hour. Remember, brothers and sisters, the key word is stagnant. Remember? And blockage. Removed and broken. I hear the Lord saying, flow, flow, flow. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command for the waters to flow, for the billows to spurt up, and for there to be a release, hallelujah, of green pastures. Yes, Lord, for the time of release is coming. And the time of knowing is here. And the hour to serve is my agenda. Some of you right now, the blessing is going to knock on your door. God is going to release deals that you cannot refuse. And hideaways and secrets that you never thought possible or dreamed of or seen. The Lord is saying, don't settle simply for the less because he come to give us the best. When your season of opportunity come, don't miss what God got for you. Welcome to that fastest 30 minutes in broadcast. Mark chapter number 12, Father, the Son, the Bride. <laughs> Here we go. Verse number 28, and 
one of the scribes came and having heard them reasoning together and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the first commandment of all? Which is? See, the Father knows. People are coming into the truth now. The truth of knowledge. They're, they're coming into it everywhere. Which is the first? I, I want to hear number one, the only test. The greatest test. You know what I mean? David, let me fight Goliath! You understand? Saul had his thousands. David his tens of thousands. Where are we right now, brothers and sisters in Christ? Come on, y'all. A thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, fourth of July. What is the time of? Celebration. Love. Remembrance. Freedom. I don't have time to go all the way back and talk about the slaves and they wasn't free and all this and that and shit. They celebrate it until June. Juneteenth come in and all of this and that and, and we know about the Tulsa experiment and everything else and now we have a recent setback of what they call affirmative action in the Supreme Court. I love every bit of it and all of that which is speaking to the truth of the denial of, 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 of uh, our Lord Jesus. Here I go. And, and I got to give it to you, from my family to your family to my generation to your generation, from my family reunion to your family reunion, from my children to your children, men with men, women with women, working that which is unseemly in, unseemly in the sight of the Lord and justifying it, therefore, to the cause of the nations based upon laws. And the Lord is the one who raises up one, sets up another, plucks up one, and removes another. So either way it go, it's all good. You can blame it on the sunshine, the moonlight, and the Supreme Court. It doesn't matter. All they want is your vote to sink your boat. So it doesn't matter. All of that goop law. No man is above the law. Listen, people, please hear me as you will not and you never do. Listen and hear me. This is a time for you to be with your family, your loved ones, ends and outlaws, to sit and judge, critique, to show your clothes in your shoes, to watch the children bounce in the bounce house and lucky or blessed if you got a swimming pool. This is the time for Uncle Jimmy and Uncle Willie to come together and rectify and get it together and forgive. For Aunt Lulu and, and, and Aunt Momo to come together and sit down and say, oh, all of these are our children, we sisters. This is the time to remove jealousy for barbecue, ribs and chicken and collard greens and macaroni and cheese and potato salad. All that stuff coming together while you watch something go up in the air and spark on a hot day and hope it don't set the earth on fire to hell and all of this and that because this is a very nervous time and people are going to be shooting guns in the streets, live fire and everything else and all of this stuff is coming together. And they're going to have the block party like you see it on television. You're hell of your vision. And you're going to see young people killed as they were killed just recently here. And family and children in critical conditions. Two and 28 dead and, and, and injured. And you're going to have folks that are alive right now today. You are alive right now, forces of July, but other people are dying, and they're going to die at the family reunion, the parties, the get-together, the hookups, bringing their guns and their toting laws, along with their jealousies and their boyfriends and their hypocrisies with their spraying of the flower essence of deodorant and perfumes and smelling like heaven, but yet funky under the bottom. You understand what I'm saying? Sweet on top, but funk on bottom. But here's the deal, folks. What you've got to do is remember this is the time of your reunion. Do it and separate and be with your loved ones 
or your husband or your wife and by yourself with no children and celebrate and say I love you and smooch it pooch it and get it over with hoochie coochie. It's all said and done. This is your fourth of July. Y'all gonna drink, y'all gonna stink, y'all gonna smoke, y'all gonna joke. Y'all gonna ask it, y'all gonna corral it, y'all gonna dip it, y'all gonna snip it. It does sniff it. It doesn't matter what all we do. <laughs> we going to do it because these are the forces of July. Now, remember this one thing, brothers and sisters. This is a prime season and an open season for the agents of this world to hunt a certain species that is swimming. The salmon are swimming upstream, the black can salmon. Now, the agents of this world, as France is beginning to see, France, isn't it amazing that on the forces of July, you guys are out there in the streets fighting and burning down stuff and having your teenagers arrested and go, thrown in jail. I was over there at you guys, France and Paris. I've been with all you guys over there in Turkey and Germany and Spain. I don't fellowship with all you guys over there. Y'all remember uh, all of that stuff? And, and, and every, now you see what is happening in America ever since the day I was born. <laughs> Now you are experiencing a, a technical difficulty. You got one. Now y'all are raising Hades over there and cutting it down and everything else. You're not shooting the breeze. So you're understanding right now that all these things are a part of the program that is to set forth the control for the future. That's what the Supreme Court's are for. That's what the law is for. That's what your government is for. That's what the systems are for. Of course, you've been suppressed far too long, just like many of the others of us, but it does not matter. You are simply humbled by the grace of God and the reason our people have went into bondage and slavery for all of these years is because of treacherous things, treasonous things against God. You see, God could not lead us. Jesus could not lead us. No human could lead us. And God said, okay, I'll put you under the servitude of others that you will have to find favor with. And we have found such great favor in the land, the sports event, Hollywood. There's a magnitude and a multitude of black riches all over the world, television producers that also break down and bring forth great abomination and destruction and sicknesses to the people through their broadcast of nakedism and all of this stuff and they are no better than the item or the totem pole that they serve in which they escape from in Africa over there. So nevertheless, all of this stuff is not the French quarters, even though it is the French quarters. You are seeing a perplexity of the longevity of a truth that is being revealed unto you on the forces of July. And these forces of July are all over the world now taking place, and even other nations and other countries are celebrating with us, but only in their own way of doing so, but it's not recognizing it, but it is paying attention to it. So we have to watch for an attack and for fallout and for, you know, all this other crazy stuff that is taking place. Welcome to Living Strong. I'm almost finished. Forces of July. Remember, the best thing for you to do, my brother and sister in Christ, is to go and get with your families. Get with your loved ones. Enjoy your celebrations and your freedom and your causes in which we all fought for in this nation for each and every one of us to enjoy these forces. Now I can say unto my brothers, even though this message is coming in late on these forces of July, and it's almost over and they're about to fire the fireworks and you're about to shoot the breeze. You are a specific species that is being hunted. This is open season to destroy you and your life. Watch it because the snake dog catchers. I've talked to the boys in the street, bone those them. And they let me know. They said to me, brother, guess what? 
The hunt is on. I keep up with the hunt. I keep up with the hunt. I watch the hunt every day of my life. That's all I watch is the hunt and how they hunt the people. The people, they hunt. Welcome to Living Strong, y'all. I'll say something in a minute before we close out. And, 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 and one of the scribes, uh, verse number 28, chapter Mark chapter number 12, and one of the scribes came. There's a blessing. I, I hear the Lord saying overflow. And I hear the Lord saying overflowing with purpose. And I hear the Lord saying a new agenda. And I hear the Lord saying weakening forms of man have come over the last 12 years. But my strength is available today. There's going to be a renewing, a rebirthing inside of the heart, inside of the society of man. And there's going to be a strong individual return. As many are going to fall and they're going to die. And some are going to swim up to that, to that high road, to that straight and narrow. And they're going to walk through that while that wide road of destruction is going to fall left and right because of flesh, because of purpose, because of greed, because of money, because of trap, because of relationship, because of family, in-laws, because of the segments of their life that they have deemed necessary for themselves. And there are very few that are snaking up and seeking God like myself. And we are going to maneuver through that. And through that process, glory, the Lord is going to give us all things richly to enjoy. There will be no sorrow, no regret. And there will be, hallelujah, the peace of God that will come in and surpass all understanding. And the power of love and forgiveness shall serene down through thee and reign supreme, said the Lord. And I will begin to cross every T and dot every I, said the Lord, that not one dot nor one tittle shall pass away from my word. For judgment must first begin at the house of the Lord. And the Father is saying that there are many that think that judgment is going to begin after they die. But the Lord is saying, no, no, no. What you have reaped right here. What you have planted right here. He said, you go sow. You go sow right here. He said, right now. The days of pleasure and the moment of non wanting is upon thee. And thou feedest, hallelujah, the desire of thy fleshly lives. And you have purpose and scattered my word into the asunder of ashes and caused my prophets and my anointed to be of none effect among you. Oh, oh, glory. But I say unto you, enjoy for the monster of your gorilla, for the monster of your terror, for the monster of your imagination will also come across your land. You think it to be not so? Wait! And the Lord said, repent now, repent now, and seek my mercy and forgiveness, because judgment still must come. God said, I held back not against the chastisement of my prophets, against the love of my honor. The Lord said, I slay them, I chastise them, and allowed many to be destroyed for the truth. And he said, now many among you still travel that same path. Oh, brothers and sisters in Christ, your 4th of July, do you know what that means to you? Do you really know what it means to you? The opportunity to love, to come together to forgive to celebrate and to lift up. 
to hold true to yourself in God those things that are true to him in you. But you know what? Many, many have no idea. Many have no idea. Have no idea what, Prophet Johnson? The folks out there that know and are watching who you are and saying to you, how is it that as mighty as you were, as great as you were, that you have fallen like the rest of them? We see now that it wasn't about God. It wasn't about the kingdom. It was all about you and what you want. They gonna talk about you behind your back. They gonna look at your man, your woman, and your children. And they gonna feed each other information to destroy by words your integrity in life. Beware, for I send you among wolves that are in sheep. Remember the pig is going to turn back to the wallow and the dog back to the vomit. When you cast your pearls before your swine, by God, you have no idea. Satan is a low down, dirty, sneaky, two faced dog that's waiting on his opportunity. Satan is long-suffering. They say God long-suffering. Satan is long-suffering. He will hide his trick for your life inside of a box and put it 15, in the 15 years or 10 years in your future or five years in your future and when you get to that road where the trick is, he'll spring that jack out of that box. <laughs> Boy, here we go again. Here we go again. What's this all about? Father, son, the bride. Fourth of July celebration. Jesus came to set us free. But we think that the Star Spangled Banner did. Home of the free. Uh, uh, home. Uh, 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 I don't forget how it goes. Oh, say, can you see about the dawn's early light? Well, so proudly we hailed as the starlight flash glazed. In the rockets, red black came bursting in there. Wrong truth to the night that the flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the slaves? Here we go. In perceiving that he, we're in 28, Matthew 12, I might get to one, one scripture. <clears throat> and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked them, which is the first commandment of all? There it is. And Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandment is, hear, O Israel. Here, I don't have no time. Twelve tribes. Look, where we at? And they done make that. They done mess me up now. And what am I doing? I'm messing up. I'm not supposed to. Go. I'm not. You, you, you ever been trying to find something? All, all because you, you, you just got a little burst of something. L look at there. L listen to this. Revelation chapter number 7, verse number 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Now, this is a stillness. God going to shut this baby down. Okay? The angels are north, south, east, and west. <laughs> God going to shut it down. Now, these boys are real. Okay, now, I can't get into this, and maybe I'll put it in my book for 1999. Now, here's the deal. 
No, not $19.99. $9,989.99. Okay, 2,000 party hoops over hoops. We're out of time. Now, here's the deal, Prince. Listen to me. Now, you can finagle this all you want. You can play with it. It's okay, y'all. It's okay. It's okay. God, Lord, help us, Jesus. Hold me. Folks, it's all right. Y'all don't have to worry about none of this. You can play with it. You know, old folks say this ain't no play thing. This ain't no play put it here. Remember them? It's okay. Go play. Go play. Go play. Get with kid and play. Here we go. Not kid rock. Kid and play. I like kid rock. Here it is. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that uh, the wind should not blow on earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Now, here's the thing about it. I've experienced these dudes before. Prophet Johnson, here we go again. I know it. I know it. Hit it. Schizophrenic. Nutty. No, 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 no. I experienced these boys before. See, and as they, as they stand back, they're, they're, they're interconnected. See, I don't want to use the word wings because angels really, you know, they really don't have wings, but, you know, we got, some of them do, you know. <laughs> Help me out, Lord. But their fingertips reach each other fingertips. And all of these guys, they are wind beings. They, they're, they're wind beings. So as they stand back, <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. See, what happens is that the wind goes through them. The air goes through them uh, like a vent or a circulation like in your car. The only thing they're going to do is suck it up and cause everything else to be still, and they're going to hold it inside of them. The north is going to connect with, with uh, the, the, the east and the west, and the south is going to connect with the east and the west. And they... They're going to be like this, and their fingertips are going to connect, okay? And that wind goes through. Imagine a vacuum, okay? And they, like, suck it all in. But it's, it's, it's another, it's a, it's a whole different way of doing it. I don't know how to do it. But I sat back and I saw these dudes, okay? <laughs> Lord, I'm getting in trouble. And, and I checked them out. I said, well, God, what are these? The Lord said, those are the four winds that's holding back the four corners of the earth. <laughs> I said, oh, my God. He said, yeah, you see how still it is, how quiet it is? I said, God, these boys are bad. The Lord said, nothing can hurt them. Nothing. You see, you got plenty now. See, they blowing now. They blowing. You know why hurricanes come? To clean out the nasty ocean. The hurricane is a washing machine. Oh, my God. Oh, God, help us, Lord Jesus. Oh, my time, my time. Listen to this. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth. We're in Revelation 7 and 1, nor on the sea, nor in the tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it, listen to this, was given to hurt the earth. And the sea saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them that were sealed, and that were sealed 140 and 4,000 of the tribes of the children of Israel, Judah, Rubion. It goes on down to say, Aster and Naphtali, therefore Manasseh and Simeon, he goes on to declare Levi, Issachar, Zebulun, and, and, and Benjamin, and Joseph. And he goes down the line. Why? All because of one thing. And Jesus answered him, the first of all commandment, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. And with all thy mind and with all thy strength, this is the first commandment. Eliminate it! Get it out of the church! Put an axe on it! Stamp it with the seal of hell! And Satan himself! Forget that commandment! They don't love God! They say they do. <laughs> Oh, in closing, in the 
second is like this, namely. Thou shalt love thy neighbor. <laughs> Woo! As thyself. God took the two hucky pups. He said, you want to know what the father, the son, and the bride is? They're all about love. Number one, I want you to go and love God. Number two, go and love neighbors, others as yourself. Forget it. Forget it. Y'all have no idea. Y'all have no idea. That's my time. Why do you always say, because you don't like it when I say it. That's why I say you don't have no idea. Satan and his boys are getting ready to eat you alive. Eat us alive. They shot the man. And you know what the leader said? We were glad to kill him. We wanted to die. That blanket and blank, blank deserved to die. That's what the leader of your agent said after they killed brother. That's my time. Thank you for yours. You better go get your real mother. Uh-oh. Not Mary. Mary's baby. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for yours. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Say, Father, forgive me. I'm a sinner. Jesus saved me. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'll talk to y'all later. Salute you too. Oh, say, can you see?